this is pre-calculus T5A6. We are solving this equation. So um, it doesn't have any degrees in it. Like it doesn't say degrees anywhere, so I'm just going to assume radians. So sine of theta plus sine of 3 theta equals 0. Now, when these are added together, there's not a lot I can do. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to condense these. So I'm going to take this sum and write it as a product. Now, if I look at what Keith has to say, uh, I had, what do I have? Sine plus sine. Yeah, sine plus sine. That's this one. So I know that um, sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b becomes 2 sine of, the, sine of a cosine of b. So 2 sine a cos b, and I'm going to have to find a and b. So 2 sine a cos b. So this is going to be written as 2 sine something cos something. And that's still equal to 0. So let me figure out what this is. This is just, uh, so a plus b would equal 1 theta. A minus B would equal 3 theta. So it looks like 2A is 4 theta. So A must equal 2 theta. And to get down to theta, I'd have to subtract 1 theta. So B would be negative theta. So this would be 2 sine, 2 theta, cos negative theta. And uh, I noticed that I have cosine of a negative. Now, if I had um, some angle, cosine is going to give me that width right there, that x measure. If I have negative theta, it's going to give me the same width. So cosine of negative theta is just the same as cosine of theta. It might simplify things for me. Now, these two things are multiplied together. This times this times the 2 as well, but they give me 0. So I know if things are multiplied together and they give me zero, uh, either one of them has to be zero, or the other one has to be zero, or they could both be zero too. So let me so let me uh, solve both of those. So if I think about uh, what sine values give me zero, or it could go like inverse sine or arc sine of zero, uh, one of them is zero. Let me think about that. Sine is height, so it's zero here, and it's also zero here. So it happens at zero, and it also happens here at, uh, at pi. And if I think about when cosine is zero, cosine is width. So it happens here and here, which is uh, pi over two and three pi over two. Now, this has a period of one, no multiplier. So those are, those are two of my answers here. But I'm going to deal with this sine now. Um, it's 2 pi, so the period here is, is, I'm sorry, it's 2 theta. So the period is 2 pi divided by that multiplier, pi. So my period's pi. This repeats itself every pi. And I haven't solved for theta here. This is 2 times theta. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. So here it tells me theta is 0 or pi over 2. But I'm going to add pi's to this until I pop out of my range. So 0 plus pi is pi, pi over 2 plus pi, that's 2 pi over 2, is 3 pi over 2. And then um, pi plus pi is 2 pi. So that means that now I have a combination of these. And fortunately, these are repeated. So pi over 2, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. Those are repeated. Um, so it looks to me then that theta can be all of these things. And now what I can do is I can I can check this. I can put this in my calculator and plug those values in and make sure that they spit out zero. And as I do that, I notice that they do. Uh, one small note too, earlier I said range for this. This is the domain, um, but 